Have you ever looked at a crayon drawing by a five-year-old and thought to yourself, that looks like a cubist work by Pablo Picasso? Or watched a few cowboys in their eight-second bull ride at a rodeo and thought, how do they decide who wins? And to the untrained eye, the difference can be hard to perceive, and the contrast might seem trivial, but it's also substantial. You've probably seen athletic contests where a team wins by a point, and when the athlete wins the race by hundredths of a second. Who wins? Often the disparity between success and failure is so minute as to be almost impossible to perceive. And yet somehow we identify a winner and a loser. A little bit can make a big difference. In 2002, Sir Dave Brailsford became the head of British Cycling. At that time, British Cycling had a 76-year history of marginal performance. And during that three quarters of a century, Britain had built a strong reputation for not being, with a few exceptions, the team that took gold. Under Brailsford's leadership, this began to change, and the team began to grab a little more gold here and there, on a much more regular basis. And within three years, they went from being a respectable but less than championship participant to winning the Tour de France. What happened? How did Brailsford turn things around in such that a mediocre group of blokes on bikes progressed to become true and legitimate competitors and then went to the top of the cycling throne? Well, in a word, they didn't do much. Just one percent. Railford's plan was to pay close attention to what the team was doing, to their equipment, their training regime, their diets, their sleep habits, and every other tiny little thing, then identifying where even the smallest of advancements could be made. Things that might create even a 1% improvement were considered significant and were tried. The theory? Making a 1% improvement overall might not make much of a difference, but finding lots of 1% improvements and implementing them could be huge. In a sport where fractions of an ounce and less than tenths of a second made the difference between showing up just to compete and winning. From the weight of a bicycle tire being trimmed just a bit to painting the floor of the van that carried the bikes white so the smallest amount of dirt or dust, which might interfere with smooth performance, would be noticed and corrected. They even brought their own freshly laundered bedding to each and every hotel they stayed at. Not just any old bedding, no, the latest in super comfortable, non-allergenic mattresses, sheets, and pillows. They looked to make minute improvements in everything they did, from finding a better and more effective massage gel to insisting on a strict regime of hand washing to avoid infections. Slight upgrades were made in everything from the ergonomics of their bike seats to the food they ate. And within 10 years, they progressed to what, without much of an argument, can be an almost complete domination of the sport. In 2012, the British completely conquered their competition by winning 70% of the Olympic gold medals that were awarded to cyclists. The team began winning the Tour de France on a somewhat regular basis. And then in 2013, with their team gold, it was topped by an individual gold for Chris Fromm, a member of their team. This theory of compounding multiple 1% advancements paid off. What's the difference? So here's the ounce. When I look at Vincent van Gogh's famous works like Irises or Wheat Field with Crows, I think I might like the little drawing created by a grandchild and pinned on the fridge better. And yes, I admit the differences are a world apart, but the differences between them, sentimentally adorable and world-class, just like the differences between losing and winning 
success and failure are bridged by small and incremental growth applied consistently over time. And it's always going to be possible to do just a little better. And that's it. An ounce submitted for your consideration. Hope you've enjoyed this little bit, a nugget, an ounce. And if you have, why don't you do us a favor and subscribe and give us a thumbs up and share and watch us again. It's appreciated. Thanks.